Yo, hello guys and welcome back again to a brand new video. In today's tutorial guys, I will be showing you how to preview Markdown in Visual Studio Code. So, first of all guys, I will need you to go ahead and open your browser to get this program. So go to code.visualstudio.com and if you don't have it like that, you can just search for it over here. And please guys, don't make confusion, confusion between Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code. They are completely different software. So this is the blue one, which is the one that we are going to use and this is the other one. Now, as you can see here, we need to go to this website, click on download for Windows. If you have any other system, you can just download it from Mac OS or Linux. Now let's finish with that. So as you can see, typically what you have to do after downloading it is the installation process. So it's pretty simple. You just have to install it next, 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 choose the languages and you will be done with it. Now, what you have to do is go to our software and then go to our extensions. From here, guys, let's go and search for Markdown. So this is the extension that we will need to search for and it is this one so and tip basically guys and if you don't have this extension here you can just click on shift Control shift x and you will find it so let's click on install and let's wait here we go so now for example if i went to an html code and i had whatever html code in brain so let me just find find some html code over here oh let me just go from example so basically what it does this one is it makes like it gives you like an additional page over here or markdown so you can use this to make actually a markdown or whatever you'd like it to do so whatever thing you write it here in html you will be actually to see it in here as well so yeah guys that was it so it is pretty simple so you just have to go to extensions search for markdown and then go to this one enable it and just like that you will have it opened and you have here the detail for example give a shortcut if you want them uh, here is what you can do and yeah that was it guys so thank you guys for watching and see you in the next tutorial